So it's official. Beast Swarm Simulator is hard. Yeah, that's right. It's gone from being one of the easier games to play, almost like a cozy game, to something that is just ridiculously hard. Now, why do I say this? Well, two years ago, I got all the endgame items except for one planter. And, uh, well, that puts me in sort of a really elite category. But ever since then, I've been struggling with Beast Swarm Simulator. And this Beastmas, well, it's kind of the final straw. Because, well, it is too hard. Now, I'm saying that from someone who actually plays this game a lot. Uh, if we have a look at my playtime, I played for a total of 214 days. That's right, that is a lot and I don't macro guys. So that is me actually sitting at the desk on this computer playing this game. But even I am having trouble completing these quests because, well, they're too hard guys. I'm basically struggling to get the stickers and I bet you are too. Like, for instance, this one. I wanted to get the Spirit Bears Galatine Shrine completed. Now, I traded some stickers. I don't like trading. But anyway, I had to trade the stickers. But here, I'm going to collect 10 stickers found by your bees while gathering. Now, I've been in the field for like 24 hours and have not found one sticker. So, how does that even work? How is this game suddenly so hard? Well, guess what, guys? Last year, around about Beastmas time, I got together with a few friends and decided, well, let's just create our own game that we can actually enjoy again. Yeah, that's right. New bees and just easy quests. Fun things to do, guys. And more importantly, updates. So let's go across to that game right now because, well, it's getting launched really soon. Now, the game's called Beehive Kingdoms. Uh, it's a collaboration between myself, scripting entity, and Uptown Rose, who does all the modeling. And we've decided to put something amazing together, yeah. So it's a collaboration between scripting entity, myself, and Uptown Rose to make some sort of a bee game that you can enjoy. Yeah, that's right. It's going to feel familiar, but we've got a lot of exciting updates planned, guys. So let's go ahead and claim a hive. It's not launched yet. It is coming really soon. This is the Rainbow Bee. This is one of the event bees that is literally happening on launch. So you can get this in the catalog, but check this out, guys. This is the map. Hello. A new game. Yeah, that's right. This is going to be a fun game to play, guys. I've been testing it a lot, and it is a lot of fun. It's kind of like a bit of a cross between Minecraft and Bee Swarm Simulator, I guess. But uh, yeah, we have a bee. And it's a rainbow bee. Yeah, that's right. So we've got a whole heap of rarities. And look at that, guys. You're going to get a whole heap of tokens from the rainbow bee. These fruit tokens are going to be really important in this game. Because not only do we have a couple of fruits, we have a lot of fruits, guys. And, uh, well, it's going to be important because, well, eventually we're going to have some crafting as well. But you use the fruits to buy the different tools and masks and equipment. It's exciting stuff, guys. And obviously we've got some quest bears as well so that's going to be pretty cool we can go over and see the friendly bear and uh, well the bears are all different colors as well coincidentally it's a bit of a rainbow theme what's that in the distance looks like a cake shop going to be very important but I'll tell you more about that in another video so let's go over here and grab a quest so friendly bears welcome you to the farm and likes helping the bees to pollinate the fruit. I think the red fruit is best, of course, but you can actually try them all eventually. Could you collect 100 pollen from the apple field for me and the bees so we can have more apples? So there we go, guys. This is the apple field. They've all got labels. Uh, there is actually an item as well in the fields, usually, so you can sort of tell if you can't quite read. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get some for Oh, no, we're getting bitten by the mobs. So there are mobs in this game as well from day one, guys. Now, uh, the launch. When is this getting launched? I'm going to get out of this field or so I'm going to get killed. Oh, actually, no, I think my rainbow bee is going to get him. The rubber fly is getting a bit shy. Boom, there we go. So I've got some tokens here we got some more fruit tickets uh some honey this is good times so this is the game it's called beehive kingdoms now why is it called kingdoms guys well we're going to reveal that a little bit later but let's just say this is not the only world you'll be visiting in your experience so yeah this is the game now i could give you more leaks or we could actually go to the leaks game yeah because you're going to get yourself a free egg so let's go over there now 
and boom. So it's called Beehive Kingdom's Leaks, okay? Uh, I'll put the links down below so you guys can go and have a look. But what you want to do is hop into this game and see if you can find yourself a fruit egg token, okay? Because you're going to get yourself a free fruit egg. So that's a fruit bee uh, that's going to get hatched like when the game opens up. Now, if you wanted to come in here and collect some tokens, there's tokens around the map. Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously you're getting a free diamond egg. So that's only for the top five people. You can still probably make it, guys. You've still got time. Uh, the hot tip is just to AFK and you will make it. So yeah, this is the Lynx game. The, whoa, 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 it's like slippery ice. Okay, get up here and uh, there's various cannons around. You can go and click on these and get zipped up to these areas and then you can get some information about the game. Now, this might not all be super current. We are still finally likes in the development but it is pretty close guys we've got uh, apples and oranges and marshmallows and jade eggs what is that what's a jade egg well it's an exotic yeah that's right we've got exotic bees they're a bit like mythic bees i guess but uh yeah they're going to be super op for sure a lot of exciting stuff guys oh and that's the time there it's going to launch in two days 15 hours 53 minutes or whenever you come in the game you'll see the exact time in fact when it does launch you want to come into this game because you'll probably get teleported to the game and be there first yeah, so you're going to get on all those leaderboards before everybody else does. So, yeah, this is the game. I'm going to have some very cool codes to give out in the next day or so. So keep watching my videos, guys. Look out for it. Uh, yeah, and see if you can come into this game and find an egg. That's right. You've got to go find the token for the fruit bee egg. And then you get a free fruit bee when the game launches. Anyway, guys, that's all i got time for today. Like I say, guys, uh, it's time for a new challenge, okay? We want something a little bit easier. We don't like the stickers. or We don't necessarily like doing the retro mobs either. We just want to collect honey, pollen, and collect the bees, guys. More importantly, we want more bees. We got no bees for Beesmas this year. Zero bees. Zero, zero, zero. So that wasn't good. It's kind of like just a bunch of quests that are way too hard. Uh, we can get the stickers. That looks great. But they're too hard to collect. And then obviously, if you want a trading game, well, go play Adopt Me or something like that. Because, well, that is a proper trading game. Bee Swarm Simulator is turned into something completely different. Anyway guys, that's all I've got time for today. Come into this game and uh, get yourself a free egg. See if you can get some tokens. Uh, your tokens count is up in the corner here. You might be able to get to 1,000 in the top 5 to get a free diamond egg. Who knows, we might even change that to the top 10. I don't even know yet. We'll just see what happens, guys. But that will get put into the game instantly. You might as well just stand here and collect this token every time it spawns. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, let your favorite YouTuber know that uh, they can get some special codes if they want to cover this game. Uh, we've definitely got some very cool stuff like getting giving away a lots of free eggs so get your youtubers involved guys because well that's the way you're going to get a whole bunch of free eggs for the first week of release so that's it from me guys please like and subscribe and until next time it's bye for now